Hi, I'm Alexandria and welcome back. We're studying the Rider uh, Weight deck with Tarot, going through one card at a time, um, just offering what I've learned along my journey. I'm new to the tarot, this tarot deck, the, the, uh, what's widely considered to be the, uh, the quintessential one that is so steeped with symbolism and, and hidden meanings and this it's just it's really quite an incredible deck and I'm quite enjoying it and it was my mom's and she was a master tarot reader who bequeathed it to me so part of this journey is to honor my mom with this so um I've, so far we've covered a few of them and today we are at uh, it's actually the fourth video I've done so so far we've done the sun and the Fool and the Judgment cards, because I'm not doing them in any particular order, but when we have examined all of the major arcana, arcana means big secrets, we're going to do uh, an episode just on like laying them out in, ter in terms of their journey. But I just really wanted to meet them as they wanted to present themselves to me, so, uh, so I'm just randomly shuffling and letting them do that. All right, so just to save a little time, I'm gonna keep these a little bit shorter. I'm aiming for like just under 10 minutes um, for each one, just so that you can follow along and then just, you know, get about your day and do some, some solo tarot play. So I've already laid out my crystals. I've already, I have my Palo Santo um, um, incense <laughs> this time. I, I have the Palo Santo candle in another one. And here I got another kind of a candle this is kind of cool. I don't know if you guys have seen this. It's actually a wooden wick. And so it's like crackles and it's got a bigger flame. So I just, uh, I actually got this as a Christmas gift and it's pretty cool. So if you see one, you know, you might want to get one for yourself because they are really nice if you like to use them to meditate with. Okay, so let us just um, run these few, the remaining ones from this deck, from the Major Arcana. I'm just going to wave them with the intention that they be cleansed and purified. I've already meditated myself and, and did a uh, smudge myself before beginning to. So we're all nice, good, clean energy. All right, so holding these in my hands, I would just say, uh, Spirit, that's just a little prayer that I got right from the internet. Spirit, please allow me to connect with your divine wisdom and knowledge. Please let me give me clear, direct messages and guide me according to your will and show me what I need to know. So with that said, let's just get right to it so we can shuffle a little bit. I hope you're having fun with this too. And for me, I'm finding it's really helpful in keeping me, you guys are keeping me accountable, whether you know it or not. So it's, it's very much a two-way street. I mean, I'm hoping to impart, you know, some, some useful information to you, but you're also keeping me accountable with my quest to do this daily video. So. And, and to really uh, dive into these tarot cards. So thank you for that. Okay, so we've got the one, I'm gonna divide it in two, slide it down, flip it over, so that they are not both facing the same directions. We want them facing opposite directions, so that when we put them together like this, then they will all be the right direction. Okay, now let me just double check. And for the purpose of this, I'm really only examining the face up version. I'm not doing the flipped ones at all. Um, so just so you know, why, how come she's not talking about that? That's why. I didn't ever realize, you know, like, there's just so much already presented and, and you can't just, to flip it, it's just, I don't know, I just wouldn't want to miss anything. And I feel like, the appropriate cards are going to come up anyway. So if you're requiring a, you know, there's enough variation within the cards that there will be a card representing what you need to know. You don't have to flip it upside down. So even though I've been reading both ways for a long, long time, but I'm starting fresh. I like to start anything new with, with a beginner's mind. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm just going to hold this in my hand and I'm just going to use this thumb down. Um, okay, so asking Spirit just for our best next card that we can learn together as a group. Thank you, Spirit, in advance. Oh, oh, 
this is, okay, we got the world. So it's quite a lovely card, I think. And it does symbolize completion. So I'll just look at it and show you what, what I see with this card. I do know that it means it's completion of a cycle. That doesn't mean, you know, your time here is over or anything. It just means you're going to be beginning another new adventure. And you have plenty of, of guides here. So you see that there's like, uh, there's, there's the four elements. So this is the earth, air, uh, water, and fire. And you'll see we have a Taurus, we have a lion, we have an eagle, and an angel. And so I'm just seeing this as lots of guidance. Let's say your spirit guides are with you, your animal spirit guides are with you. Uh, I do a lot with channeling animals, and I'm telling you, they're amazing for the information that they come with. But we don't give them nearly enough credit. But when we do, we can sure benefit. Uh, so anyway, so she's she's just kind of dancing along. She obviously looks very happy and contented. I, I always go also by the color of the card. So it's a beautiful blue. There's lots of light around, like they're, they're, these angels or guides are like in clouds. So they're all just offering their support as well. Um, she's carrying two wands. She's just this very, it's very happy. Um, I would say a nice card you would want to see in your spread. So that's just my ultra beginner uh, <laughs> interpretation. Let's go to just this tarot journal because it has short and sweet. Uh, so the, that is the last card before we get into the minor arcana. And it says, you've come full circle and are closer to your soul's destiny. Opportunities abound. Yeah, she looks pretty happy. You'll go far. Travel abroad or even to the moon or Mars. Isn't impossible. How can you use what you know to help others? Refine your vision. Right action continues to bring right results. So there she is again. And this is the tarot journal. Oh, it's called, it doesn't have an author that are readily available, but uh, a guide for journaling insightful readings by Peter Popper Press. So that's the one I've been using, quite liking it. And so let's just get another variation of uh, the, from the Tarot Bible, which does focus on the uh, Rider Waite deck. So this is uh, connected with the, with the Saturn. Uh, key words are completion, fulfillment, um, freedom, cosmic love, and freedom from fear some key phrases that would help you in your reading, and it would depend on the question, and it would depend on its location in the spread, but just some key phrases are, uh, they, it would indicate reward for hard work and effort, a uh, time of celebration for yourself and others, feeling like the world is your oyster, traveling, whether it's uh, physically or mentally, accomplishing what you set out to, to achieve, discovering a solution, feeling at one with yourself and the universe. So their interpretation, uh, the world is always a positive, the world is the name of the card, is always a positive card in any layout. It signifies you're becoming more aware of who you are, your limitations, your choices, and taking responsibility for yourself. So the positioning, if it's in the you now, it means you're coming to terms with yourself, your sense of individual value, and how to relate to others. The world can also mean you've met the ultimate partner found the perfect vocation and there's no turning back. Whatever the cost involved, you know that you have to move forward, turn down another pathway and follow the signposts. So as a blockage, you could be convinced that everything's going well and, and simply indulging too much wishful thinking. You could just be too complacent. You might need to ask yourself questions like, what is my true potential? Who am I? What do I need to wake up to? You might be seeing only what you want to see or living by others' expectations of how you should behave. 